Welcome everyone, my name is Jamie Terrace. I'm the Director of Community Partnerships for the BC Lions Football Club. At this time, I would like to ask uh, special guest Tyler Whitley from Semiamu First Nation to come forward for a ceremonial welcome. RCM Sutna Chalacha CM Quatiso Kanem Sitsanat CM Chut Semiamasin Chut Shashwakwalakson CM. My name is Tyler Whitley. My ancestral name is Quatiso Kanem, and I come from the Semiamu First Nations. I'm the grandson of late Grand Chief Pequotchton Bernard R. Charles. And today I'd like to start this uh, start this day off with a beautiful song, a blessing song to to start this in a good way that all this work you're doing goes in a good way, Siam. Oh, 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 song is a is a family song that song ties us with uh, um, with our family in the states all across um, from from Samyama all the way to Lummi to to all the ones that end with Mish all those nations as you cross the border you'll see those um, those nations that Swinomish all those ones that end with Mish that song ties us together as family that's the flood song, the, the creation song that allowed us to survive here today, Sam. Thank you, Tyler, for opening our media event in such a special way. We really appreciate you being here. Uh, the BC Lions Football Club is proud to be hosting our third annual Orange Shirt Day game on Friday, September 29th, when we play the Saskatchewan Rough Riders at BC Place. As an organization, we feel it's extremely important to broaden our own understanding of the painful history and ongoing impacts of residential schools, to raise awareness with our fans, and to con continue to build strong and healthy relationships within the Indigenous community. We've been working together with our Orange Shirt Day committee over the last several months to prepare for our upcoming game. And I would like to give a shout out and thank you to our committee members, Shannon Henderson, the president of the Orange Shirt Society, Angela White, the executive director of the Indian Residential School Survivor Society, Gina Jackson, from an indigenous entrepreneur and creator of the Bears Lair, 
and Sempian Stuart Gonzalez, an elder, a knowledge keeper, a residential school survivor and thriver, and a member with Squamish Nation Council. Uh, thank you all for being a part of the committee. Also, a big thank you to our corporate partners for their continued support of this initiative. Without them, the scope of what we do would not be possible. Our presenting partners are our Prospera Credit Union, represented today by Nikki Gelstad and Michelle Gagne, uh, BC Hydro, represented by Carolyn Ryan, uh, Lyuna Local 1611, uh, welcome Mark Olson and Tony Parkinson, and our supporting partners, Fortis BC, represented by Janet Devaney, Pomerleau Construction, welcome St uh, Stephen Lacombe, and Levitt Machinery with Tara Doyle and Danielle Cullum. Thank you all for joining us today and for your support of this important initiative. We really appreciate it. This year, our game theme is uh, Sport is Ceremony, recognizing that as recently as 1951 in BC with the potlatch ban, Indigenous people had their ability to gather in ceremony and celebration taken away by the Government of Canada. And sport was one of the only ways that they could actually gather to continue to do this. And so I'd like to call, we're fortunate enough today to have uh, from Canoe Cultures from, and a hereditary chief from Squamish Nation, a Mike Billy Sr., to come up and say a few words about sport is ceremony as it relates to the canoe. Mike. Thank you, thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Lemkacha Siam. I'm from Squamish Nation, and my mother was from Nukalk. Um, I'd like to say thank you for to the BC Lions for having us here today, and thank you for the Orange Shirt Day. It really touches my heart that we'd have this day. I'd like to share with you a bit about the North Van Canute Club that has been going on for, for centuries. Uh, we've always paddled in the race canoes and built canoes. And at one time, it was everything that we did, fishing, hunting, traveling. But more importantly, for, for me, it's the racing. Ever since I was a, a child, we'd race canoes. And to, to get your body into shape and to be out there on the water and to be at home in the water was like the best feeling in the world. Our people have been through a lot in the last 150 years here in Vancouver. And the only way I can describe the feeling when you're out there racing is freedom. It's the best thing in the world to be out there paddling. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Mike Billy Sr. And he told, uh, Mike shared in his prime against his son, Junior, that uh, Mike Billy Jr., who's also with us here today and, and just came from, I understand, overseas and uh, finishing second in a canoe championship as a racer. So your dad did admit that in your, in, even when in his prime, you are faster than he is. Um, we will be giving away 10,000 shirts again this year with a $10,000 donation to the Orange Shirt Society on behalf of our partners. Uh, the 2023 design features the word mountain lion uh, translated into both the Squamish and the Hunkaminam languages, which are the languages of the Musqueam and Suela tooth people. And we're fortunate enough to have uh, Sempulan Stuart Gonzalez here today who is, speaks the Squamish language. And uh, if you don't know, there are are very few people amongst both languages that are fluent in, in these languages. They're, so they are, they almost were lost. And so they are a treasure and, and uh, the gift of your language to us to adorn our t-shirts. We want to thank you very much for that. So Sempulan is going to come up and show us how to actually pronounce the word mountain lion in Squamish properly. Thank you. Thank you. Verse First of all, I'm very grateful to see each and every one of you. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, George, and the rest of the BC Line uh, team and our partners, our champion players. Uh, I expect the Grey Cup. <laughs> <laughs> High expectations. Um, my ancestral name is Simpoyan. I, have, um, I am of Musqueam Squamish ancestry, and uh, I'm an Indian day school survivor and residential school survivor. So um, if you think of your own um, 
birth languages, you know, at one time it was outlawed. It was against the law for me to speak. Uh, or So, you know, no matter how many times I was beaten in residential school, I still retained the language. So, you know, you, th you think of that. In, in, in the big world, if you go to another group of people that speak their own language and you outlaw that language, you know, that's the impact of residential schools. That's the impact of Indian Day schools. That's the impact of 60 schools. And we still see those challenges today in, in, in the big world we call state, which is the government. So I'm very fortunate. I still speak Skokomish. I speak a little bit of Hankanitman. I don't know how to read Hankanitman because my grandfather didn't teach us how to write. Um, I grew up down Musqueam. And we're one of eight houses that lived down the point. And uh, my grandfather spoke all seven languages of the Salishan language. So, you know, I'm very fortunate. I speak a few. So it, it, everyone, I can do what I do with my students. Sat and chop to a sat so sit the quiet and touch your face when you hear me. I do this with the students I work with. So can we say in? In. Oh, this is where you participate. Like oh, like pulling. <laughs> my two-year-olds have better. In. In. Swo. Swo. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, now we're going to say it again. In Swotwo. In Swotwo. Oh, there's two people back there. In Swotwo. In Swotwo. In Swotwo. In Swotwo. And one more time. Boom. In Swotwo. <laughs> My grandkids go, Papa, please, enough now. So that's what Mountain Lion is. And I did um, approach our language, uh, our senior language, my auntie Vanessa Eyal, and asked, uh, you know, how would we translate BC lines into uh, our Squamish phrase? And she said, just call them in Swotwo. Because that, you know, our mountain lions are really, um, they're amazing creatures. And again, uh, not to put any pressure on the BC lions, but I, again, I only expect Greatness. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Simple Yen. Um, we will have audio files of the pronunciation available online for our fans to listen to and to do their best to pronounce the translated words properly. I would also like to acknowledge and thank Vanessa Campbell from Musqueam for her assistance with the translations and the host nations for the gift of their language on this year's t-shirts. Uh, entertainment this year, let's talk a little bit about that. We're going to feature The Hallucination, formerly known as a tribe called Reb, Red, as our halftime performer. So this electronic duo blends instrumental hip-hop reggae and dubstep influenced dance music, one of my favorites, with elements of First Nations music, particularly vocal chanting and drumming. Um, we are also going to have DJ Osho from Squamish Nation spinning tunes at the street party as well as in game. So we'll have uh, some great performers joining us on game day. Back in 2023 will be our Indigenous Marketplace. We've selected with the help of Indigenous Initiatives and Spirit Link Communications, 28 different Indigenous vendors to showcase their products and goods during our game on the 29th. So that should be a, lo a lot of fun and for our fans to go out and support. That's a great way to support the Indigenous communities to purchase something from one of these vendors. Finally, as part of a CFL league-wide uh, Orange Shirt Day initiative, on the field, our players will don a special Orange Shirt Day warm-up jersey, which fans will have a chance to win by purchasing a 50-50 ticket and entering the, the jersey sweepstakes in support of the Orange Shirt Society and the Indian Residential School Survivor Society. Um, I'd like to draw your attention to our runway model. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, so Dane Evans, right? <laughs> so you can showcase the jersey. Just give us a little spin. <laughs> <I don't mind. laughs> Dane is a First Nations player from the Wichita and affiliated tribes. Um, he's wearing one of 40 warm-up jerseys, so we will, in the sweepstakes, fans will have a chance to win one of these 40 jerseys, and they will be autographed by the players after the game. So the best way to do that is to go, is to purchase a 50-50 ticket online and enter the sweepstakes. Thank you, Dane. You look great in the jersey. So that wraps up the updates for uh, the, the game on the 29th. 
Uh, I'd like to uh, call all of our partners and committee members and special guests up because we'd like to do a picture with the group with Dane and uh, before you guys depart. And if there are any breakaway sessions after that or uh, our, our, our content team wants to get some from our partners as well as special guests, we will get that after our picture. Thank you all for joining us today.